Good morning everybody. This is just a very quick update video and I'm going to try and keep it to under two minutes. I'm only putting it out there because there was something really quite interesting uh, in the trades that appeared on Volume Leaders in yesterday's session. That is the 4th of October, Wednesday the 4th of October. If we look at the trades um, tab for yesterday, uh, the only filter I've put, or the sort I've put on, is the percentage sort. So it's decreasing sort. And the, the most interesting thing to note there is the number of bonds related or yields related sectors that appear um, on this screen. You can read them for yourselves. So over in Trading View, I put a couple of charts up. Um, one showing TLT, a one day chart. Uh, for most of this year from March onwards and the same for HYG which is the symbol that is there. So you can see that um, TLT has been on a tear downwards all year and HYG has had a really big dip since um, really since July, since, since a, a local high. Um, you know, we had a breakout failure there and then it's um, plunged downwards, right? And that's also illustrated in the, the FRED data. So if you go to the, um, the government's free website on economic research, and for example, if you mapped the 10-year versus the 2-year, you can, you can see that there. Um, that's, that's clearly a, a clear reversal in July 2023-07, and it's been tearing up. So there's been a big move up. So this could be... Uh, this has a potential to be a, a set of reversal trades. Certainly the amount of money, and if we go across the HYG chart in volume leaders, and if you look through the amount of money that they poured in to this number 10 and number 7 trade yesterday, um, it's indicative either you know, uh, either of redistribution or a, a reversal, i.e. accumulation buying. So um, you know, it does look like you know, after a run like that, that this might be a, a potential for a reversal. But again, we cannot predict the future. Um, and all, you, all you, we can do is observe objective factual information uh, and market generated information to see whether it can help or not in, um, in our trades. So yeah, that was just an update um, to see, uh, you know, to provide that information that hopefully will be useful to some people.